If you have an outdoor deck or patio, chances are it's gotten a lot of love over this past year. Maybe you've even spruced it up to make it a year round living area. 12 on your side's Marilyn Moritz tells us how to keep it looking good and even more importantly, how to keep it safe. I love my deck. <laughs> Jill Russo spends a lot of time outside at her home. Especially if the weather's nice and just sitting out here, just relaxing. A relaxing deck is also a safe deck. So here are three things to check off your maintenance to-do list. One, watch for wobbling. Railings that aren't secure can mean trouble. Just tighten the fasteners, screws and nails and replace the rusty ones. Hammer down the ones that are popping up too. So if any nails and fasteners won't go in, it could mean that there's a supporting joist or other structural element that's damaged and needs to be replaced. And if a screw or nail won't go in the wood, it could mean that the wood is too decayed. If you can poke a screwdriver into the wood more than an eighth of an inch, it's probably rotted and needs replacing. Next, for decks connected to your house, make sure the ledger board is secure. That's the long piece of wood that gets bolted to the house. If the connection can't support the load, you risk a deck collapse. The safest ledger connection goes all the way from the ledger on the outside through the wall of the house to connect to the interior floor support. It's called a rim joist. If you've got an older home, it's a good idea to have a professional deck inspector come and check. And third, stop the slipping. Some composite and plastic materials can get slick morning dew or rain. Traditional wood and aluminum are better at resisting slips, but you can always add rugs or mats to any material. Marilyn Moritz, KSET 12 News.